Cheetahs are revered for their agility, their beauty, and they're well known as the fastest land mammals on Earth. Cheetahs are also considered to be big cats by many. And like other big cats, cheetahs must be dangerous and capable of killing humans. Well, this isn't necessarily true. Although attacks by cheetahs have occurred, including even fatal ones. But first, let's address whether or not cheetahs are dangerous. First of all, cheetahs are not usually considered to be big cats, as that designation is generally reserved for felines of the genus Panthera, which only includes lions, tigers, snow leopards, jaguars, and leopards. Sometimes, this label also includes cougars, which are similar in structure and behavior, while cheetahs are not. Cheetahs weigh, on average, about 21 to 72 kilos, or 50 to 160 pounds, and they are 28 to 36 inches tall at the shoulder, and 112 to 150 centimeters, or 44 to 60 inches long, without the tail, on average. While sizable, they have less overall mass than cats like lions, which weigh in at 90 to 180 kilos, or 200 to 400 pounds. Cheetahs have a thin build and smaller heads and teeth than other big cats. As is obvious, cheetahs are designed for speed. They have weakly retractable claws that work like running spikes, and a tail that works as a counterbalance during sharp turns. Cheetahs have a hunting style that is different from that of the larger cats. Prey is generally pursued from further distances and knocked to the ground with the cheetah's forepaws. The combined features of the cheetah's morphology make them ill-equipped to take down larger prey by themselves. In fact, cheetahs tend to prefer prey with body weight that is half their own. The most important factor of whether or not cheetahs will hunt humans, however, is their dietary preferences and behavioral flexibility. While cats like leopards are opportunistic and can take down larger prey, cheetahs are specialist feeders, and they are also a naturally timid species. Cheetahs prefer to hunt medium-sized ungulates, the young of larger ungulates, and smaller mammals, although male cheetah coalitions can have success taking larger prey. Like many of today's carnivores, hunting humans is not something wild cheetah are interested in doing. Humans, being bipedal, are very different from cheetah's typical prey and are very intimidating. Cheetahs are not animals who like to take chances. Cheetah attacks in the wild are extremely rare and may only occur if humans interfere with their kills. This does not mean that cheetahs aren't fully capable of killing humans, and especially human children. And while there has never been a recorded human fatality caused by a truly wild cheetah, Captive cheetahs are unique. Animals that live in captivity, and particularly those which have been raised around humans and are comfortable around them, can have completely different behavior from animals that were born and raised in the wild. This is just one reason that captive animals should not be considered wild animals. A normally fearful species that is adjusted to human presence may actually pose more of a threat to people than those which are wild living. Encounters with carnivores in a confined space may also increase the chance that a carnivore will approach a human. This has probably been the case with the few recorded attacks and fatalities carried out by cheetahs. One such attack occurred at a wildlife center owned by Judy Behrens. As Behrens was conducting an exhibition with her two-leased cheetah, one pounced on her, apparently excited by a bouncing ball, biting and clawing her while another cheetah joined in. She sustained around 40 puncture wounds to her back and extremities. Despite being attacked by two of the cats, Baron stated she only needed a few stitches and that the attack was, quote, no big deal, and that every so often you're going to have an altercation where things don't go 100%. Barons further explained that the cheetahs, after getting excited by the ball and running for it, pounced on her instead when they couldn't reach it. On April 5th, 1994, an 80-pound cheetah scaled an 8-foot fence and pounced on an 8-year-old boy at the Jackson Zoo in Mississippi. The boy was scratched and nipped before the cat was recaptured. The next incident involves some relatively graphic photos. In 2012, 60-year-old Violet DeMello was visiting a petting center containing cheetahs 
in an African game reserve when one of the cheetahs there attacked a small child, whom she then tried to protect. In doing so, she was pounced on and fell to the ground and was attacked herself. Damella made the following statement. They weren't being vicious. You could tell they were just excited, but it became serious very quickly. It all happened so fast. After his sister was free, another boy tried to make a run for it. As I stopped him, something jumped me from behind. Damello suffered injuries to her head, stomach, and legs. Her husband stated, she has had a lot of stitches to both her eyes. Her scalp itself was the worst because the tooth had penetrated between a skull and a scalp, which was peeled backwards. She lost a lot of blood from the head. She had to spend the first 48 hours in bed. Another similar incident in 2017 involved another petting area with cheetahs. Peggy Leo, who was visiting the Mdanani Lodge in South Africa, was apparently grabbed by a cheetah, which tried to bite her. However, she did not need medical treatment after this encounter, which was captured on video. This same cheetah, however, attacked another tourist the following day. After petting the hand rear cheetahs in the enclosure with supervision, the offending cheetah knocked 14-year-old Isaac Driver to the ground. The cheetah was subdued by the teen's father and held to the ground, and his son received some scars from the incident. Even the celebrity Adam Sandler was apparently pounced on by a cheetah during the filming of the movie Blended in 2013. However, he was not injured. All of these incidents were not life-threatening and seemed to involve playful behavior from cheetahs, which escalated due to their excitement, as the cheetah owner Judy Barron described of her encounter. Play behavior from young carnivores is the precursor for teaching them hunting technique and cheetahs may instinctively bite and perform maneuvers that are similar to that of taking down prey, even when killing is not their intent. There has been, however, fatal encounters with cheetahs, but there has been two of such incidences so far in recent history. The first fatal cheetah attack occurred in 2007, and it involved a 37-year-old woman in Belgium who climbed into the cheetah's enclosure at a zoo. She apparently hid in the zoo until it had closed and found the keys to the enclosure. She was attacked by multiple cheetahs. She remains the only adult to be killed by cheetahs in recent history, or perhaps at all. The next incident involved a three-year-old toddler who was mauled by a cheetah at a tiger breeding facility in South Africa, which is owned by the renowned filmmaker John Vardy. This child was the son of one of Vardy's workers. It was reported that a large amount of alcohol was smuggled into the compound and a gate intended to block the cheetah from approaching people was carelessly left open. The attack caused extensive injuries to the toddler's head and neck. He died of his injuries on the way to the hospital. These tragic cases are thankfully extremely rare. Cheetahs do not view adult humans as prey and their small number of attacks are generally due to individuals which are comfortable with humans. These rare attacks also mostly did not result in significant injury to the victims. The sole adult human fatality occurred with multiple animals. In the case of the three-year-old boy, such young humans are always extremely vulnerable towards any animal of a comparable size to them and up, including commonly owned traditional pets. So in general, cheetahs aren't dangerous animals and this is why they are interacted with in zoos while other big cats are considered to be risky. Although any animal of a certain size is capable of causing bodily harm to people. As should be done with all animals, cheetahs and all cats in general should be respected and hopefully more fatalities and major injuries will not occur in the future.